you experience a few new things also uh, in the middle that when you feel sakit, tak sehat, tak habiskan makanan, your weight reduce, muscle reduce, body fat goes up. So I did mention yeah. uh, the possibility of when someone berpuasa atau tak cukup makan, losing muscle will happen. So nanti bulan puasa nanti atau sesiapa buat RF, don't be surprised, you lose weight drastically, that is because of muscle catabolic. Yeah. So overall, uh, based on this progress, I based on the probability lah. Okay, Adika, for you to reduce down uh, another three kilos, very doable, especially masa bulan puasa nanti. <laughs> so keep up the good work. Uh, try not to termakan pizza or you know something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, there was a one-time thing when we were waiting for the new meal plan. <laughs> yeah. So same as Nadira juga, for you to reduce another two two and a half kilos is very possible, very doable lah. Okay, cool. So, you so do you have any question regarding about the meal plan? I do actually. I mean, give an estimate. You know how much muscle that we can somehow predict or expect to lose during fasting month. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get heartbroken looking at the weights because I'm like, what that much? <laughs> so... Okay, so I'm gonna give you two answers. The first answer: metabolism is a process whereby we, our body build and destroy. Okay, so that's what we call catabolism, means the mm -hmm. ultimate line. When we don't eat for a period of time, usually more than six hours, our blood glucose atau gula dan darah akan turun. We cannot eat. We are fasting. As it goes yeah. lower and lower, where does this energy come from? The carbohydrate comes from. The body will find source of energy from glycogen, which is carbohydrate in the muscle and also the liver. But we're fasting. Assuming memang carbohydrate tak cukup, they will just break down the muscle. We call it catabolic. Yeah. How much muscle? I cannot answer. <laughs> I can only tell you the process. Okay. <laughs> process of fat loss requires time. We cannot mm -hmm. fasten the process. We can do calorie deficit, we can exercise, we can exercise more, but we cannot fasten the process of fat loss. So it's similar like yeah. losing fat, uh, losing muscle. We cannot predict how much muscle we can reduce, but we can reduce muscle, we can gain muscle. Mm -hmm. But fat loss dengan muscle gain, muscle loss, to susah nak predict. Okay. There's so many different components. Uh, you're right, like the sleep, the stress and everything. And I think that's what we learned as well, the stress component and the sleep component and how important it is to manage that, particularly with the abdominal fat yeah. area. Because so. like I lose everything, gain muscle, but my abdominal fat increases because I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anything else you want to ask before we end our Zoom session? No, that's it from us. Thank you so much. Well, there's nothing else. Looking forward to see both of you be in progress soon. Alright? In two weeks. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Take care.